Hello everyone, Only Draven here again. Today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate the process of making compact blocks. So compact wall blocks are needed to make compact machines, which are great items to use in Sky Factory. Um, and automating that process can really speed up their production. If you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification. So that way you get notified anytime a tutorial or video comes out. All right. We need a bunch of stuff for this one. Uh, we're going to start with, we need some GPS. We need two of those. That's a stick, a paper, and a light blue dye. We need an item collector, which is three hoppers, two droppers, a lapis block, and three iron ingots. We'll need two structure builders. That's three obsidian, two observers, magma block, two redstone blocks, and a dispenser. We need to make a personal shrinking device, iron ingot, two ender pearl, a book, and a glass pane. You're going to use that and combine it with two diamond, redstone torch, and an eye of ender to make four miniaturization field projectors. You're going to need an auto clicker, which is seven diorite, redstone block, and a dispenser. And you're going to need one actual dispenser. Seven cobblestone, a string, and a piece of redstone. Now, a couple of things we'll be using in this tutorial. First of all will be, of course, the ability to make compact machines. If you're unfamiliar with how to make a compact machine itself, I will link a tutorial showing how to do that down in the description of this tutorial. I'd recommend watching that one first. I'm also going to link a tutorial showing how to use the um, structure builder. You'll need to know that as well. But to make a compact wall block, the recipe is just an iron block, piece of redstone on top, and then throw a little redstone. This has to be inside the field projectors, which I've already set up. And that gives you your compact wall block. It's 16 of them. So you need a lot of these, especially if you're making the maximum size compact machines. So let's automate how to make that happen. Again, these are already pre-placed. If you're not sure where to put them, that tutorial is linked below. Right off the bat, let's start with the basic stuff. We're going to need all of this. That's there's our item collector, structure builders, dispensers, auto clickers. We're also going to need tables and chests. And the last thing we're going to need is a power source. Now for this tutorial, I'm just using a creative battery. You can use any RF source you like, uh, generators, solar, anything that works for you. Okay, so I'm going to put the creative source there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put an energy extraction cable on it. That up to full. There. And I'm going to run some energy over here. Right there. Okay. One more. You can't bring it all the way to the edge of the orange field. If you do, the field disappears. It has to be at least one block away. So on top of that, we're going to put a dispenser. Behind that, we're going to put our clicker. Ooh, well, we better post it in the right direction. There we go. Our clicker. Now we're going to put a button on the back of this dispenser. Okay. Grab one of those. Do. All right. Button. So this auto clicker, we could choose how often we want it to click from one click every one tick, one click every two ticks, so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and put it on, put it on number five for now. As you can see, it's pressing that button. All right? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't have anything yet. That's okay. Now, got that done. Next, we're going to take our structure builders, and we're going to put one of those down. A little space there. Okay. Now, these structure builders are what's going to place our iron block and our redstone. And for that, it just needs a 1-1 one, one space. See? It just puts it one single block. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves any type of just building block. Place one here, here, and one there. I'm going to take some chests there, there, and there. Break those. Then we can put our item extraction cables underneath. Bring those up to maximums. 464 and 64. 
And that is a large part of what we're looking to do here. Now, the dispenser itself doesn't need power. I just put that there so that we had a, I had a way to place that down. But the power needs to go to the auto clicker. This doesn't actually need power. That was just to get it on the same level. The last thing we're going to place down is our item collector. We're going to set it over here, again, leaving a space. Turn that up to maximum size. And that is going to pick up anything dropped in that area. Okay. okay. So that's the majority of what we're looking to build here. All of these things here. Now we have to go ahead and automate it. Make a little space. Grab our GPS. So we're going to link the GPS to a block. Set that there. One of them. We're going to sync our GPS to that stone block. I'm going to take it over here. I'm going to set it inside our structure builder. To see, now it's building it right here. This stone is taking the place of where the structure builder is, and it would build it right there. Put another one on top. Sync to that. This one's the one we're going to set in here. So now, our iron a redstone will be placed in that location. We can get rid of the stone blocks. They're wirelessly building them inside. These are set to required redstone, so they're not going to do anything yet. Grab ourselves some material. Grab ourselves iron blocks, redstone, redstone. Go ahead and put iron in there, which would feed down into the machine, so you can fill that all the way up with iron. This one, we're going to do the same thing with redstone. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and turn these ones on. You see, the first one is put down our block of iron. The second one is placed our redstone on top of it. So all we need now is redstone to be tossed inside. That's what we're going to use our dispenser for. Go in here, throw our redstone in, and when it clicked it, it threw it out. See how it's turning into a block up there? And it's immediately preparing to build the next one. It is now going to continuously build the stone blocks, or the compact wall blocks. And then they're being picked up by our item collector, which can then be fed into any storage system that we like. Now, if you're throwing the redstone in too quickly, you'll have extra. The item collector will pick up those as well. Uh, if you find that you're dropping too many too fast, you can go in and slow down the uh, auto clicker. Sometimes it's spitting out redstone faster than this is completing its process. So all you need then is to have redstone coming into this chest, or iron coming into this chest, redstone into this one, and redstone into that one, and it will continuously make these blocks for you. Now, I'm going to quickly switch over to where I've set this whole process up inside of a compact machine um, on my survival world, so I'm going to pop over there real quick and show you how I fully automated providing iron and redstone to those as well. We'll check that out. Okay, so here we are inside of my survival world, inside of a compact machine, a maximum size machine. As you can see, I have the same process set up that we saw a moment ago with a couple minor differences. Over here, you see I have a trash void and a black hole unit. I have it set up this way because I produce, again, we mentioned this throws out a lot of redstone. I don't want the redstone to exit out this tunnel into my uh, next processor storage. It's extra redstone I don't need. So what I've done is I put an item extraction cable on one side, blacklisting redstone. On the upside, it's white twisting. So any extra redstone it picks up, it just trash voids out. And then only the compact blocks being produced will go into this black hole unit and then carry on out. Black hole unit here is just to handle overflow. So this process is the same. I'm powering it in this situation with a geothermal generator, an infinite lava loop. The big difference you're going to notice is this right here. You'll see that I have another co compact machine, a maximum size one, no chest. All the items that are feeding this system are inside of that one compact machine. This one's getting iron from the machine. This one's getting redstone from the machine. And then, of course, our dispenser's also getting redstone. Redstone, and that's our iron blocks. So let's look inside this compact machine. If you look inside, you'll see that I have a triple layer farm. On the bottom and middle section, I am growing 
redstone seeds from mystical agriculture. The essences are being auto-crafted into redstone, and one layer is feeding into my uh, dispenser, and the other one is feeding into my structure builder so that they both have redstone. On the top level, I'm growing iron seeds. The iron essence is being formed into ingots, and then the ingots are being placed into blocks. And they're feeding out into the other structure builder. Take a quick look. Right? Powering it again with the same thing, a geothermal, power running all over. We've got crops growing here. Harvester picks them up. Moves. It, it also get it, the, sometimes it picks up this pink stuff, this pink fertilized essence. I don't like it. It's useless. <laughs> so I just have it going into a trash void. But then the essence goes into the chest, into the auto crafter, which turns it into redstone, and then feeds out into uh, the dispenser. Lex level up does the exact same thing, but it's going into one of the structure builders. Exact same process. And then at the top, the exact same process, with the exception of it being iron essence, it's turned into iron ingots. And then it's being turned into iron blocks. Now, as you can see, it's producing a lot of iron. So it's producing more iron than uh, it really, really can use. So a lot of it's just kind of building up there. Uh, but once I leave this, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll go on out faster. So uh, harvester there as well. So I've done this type of build many times in a lot of different tutorials. How to automate mystical agriculture. Again, that tutorial can be found on my page or link below. Uh, but I like to do this inside of a compact machine inside of a compact machine. So that is feeding all three of these machines. All of my materials are coming out of this, which is an infinite source. So I'll never run out of iron or redstone. I never have to make it again. I don't have to fill anything. This is literally just going to sit and make compact machine blocks forever. Get back into the tutorial. And here we are back in our tutorial world. So, as you can see, the system is still running, making compact machine walls, which it will do until it runs out of materials. Now, you don't have to use a compact machine for your farms or your supplies. You could build just a farm right out here behind and run your redstone and iron into these chests directly. Um, I just like to use the compact machine because it saves space and it does help cut down on legs since that's less visuals out here in the regular world that your game has to load. But no matter how you get your uh, materials in here, as long as they have a steady flow, you will have a steady build of compact machine walls. All right. Uh, well, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments, and I'll do my very best to get back with you as soon as I'm able to, as well as any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there at the bottom of the homepage is another place you could submit questions or feedback or recommendations via email. While you're there, you'll also find links to all my tutorials and videos, my streaming schedule, PC specs, uh, links to my social media accounts, and of course, as well as the ODG store for some cool Only Draven gaming merchandise. I do recommend checking out the website. A lot of great stuff there. That is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.